Wargamers always like unique and interesting details for the miniatures in their forces. This can be an unusual vehicle, distinctive stowage, or in the case of aircraft, a different weapons loadout. While trolling eBay for Academy Su-22 fitter kits to round out my Soviets, I came across an interesting option. Osmods in Australia make a range of 144th scale aircraft weapons with some fun options. Let's check them out. These are the weapons I bought along with my Academy Su-22 fitter kit. I got some FAB-250 freefall bombs, as well as some AS-10 Karen air-to-surface missiles. The AS-10 is the NATO reporting name for the KH-25 missile. These 144th scale resin weapons are made by Osmods, an Australian-based manufacturer that produces models and conversion kits. I plan to use these extra weapon options to trick out my Soviet ground attack aircraft, fitters and frogfoots. It's nice to have a mix of weapons on the pylons to add visual interest to the models. Opponents always appreciate you killing them with a bit of style and a LAN. The AS-10 comes in a blister of two missiles. The blister costs $7.50 Australian plus $3.50 postage. That's $11, or $5.50 per missile. Pretty pricey, particularly since you already get some of these from Battlefront if you buy their Frogfoot Aviation Company box. But I wanted to use them on my fitters, so I needed some extras. And I wanted to see what the Osmod kits were like. It's only money, right? The castings generally look okay. Unfortunately, there's an air bubble at the end of one of the missiles, making it a bit short shot. I can probably fix it, but disappointing quality control in a kit that costs this much. But with a bit of repair and cleanup, these should be fine. The FAB-250 bombs were $5.50 for four bombs, plus $3.50 postage. That works out at $2.25 per bomb. FAB-250 are 250 kilogram free-fall gravity bombs. Very basic weapons, but still effective and in widespread use. Both the SU-17 fitter and SU-25 frogfoot can carry these. These are pretty small. I'd probably switch up to the FAB-500 versions if I bought some more. Again, the casting on these seems fine. A couple have minor air bubbles in the nose, but easy enough to fill. So my overall impression of the Osmod kits are they're fun but expensive. They let you add interesting weapons to your aircraft kits, but at a cost. And quality control seems a bit spotty. Both of the kits I bought had minor to moderate casting issues. The short shot missile is repairable, but should never have made it into a blister for sale. This is the Osmod's website. They do have quite a range of products in various scales, many with an Australian theme. The bit we want is the conversions, upgrades and accessories 144th. There are several kit ranges here. The Western list includes Mark 20 Rock Eye cluster bombs and a couple of types of JDAM, as well as laser guided and unguided bombs. This range also includes anti-air and air-to-surface missiles, plus some bomb racks and jamming pods. Flames of War players might be tempted by some of the World War II and Korean weapons in the range. The modern Russian range includes air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles and bombs. I was disappointed not to see the AA-8 AFID missile in the air-to-air -air options. The Su-25 could carry those. The air-to-surface options include the AS-7 Kerry missile, similar to the AS-10 and valid for Su-17 and Su-25 loadouts. There are also heavier missiles and even cruise missiles. Not really useful for war games, but they might really scare an opponent if you fit them to your aircraft kit. Osmods also do 144th scale US high frequency ECM jammer pods and refueling pods for US Navy aircraft, if you're looking for something really unique. The direct from the manufacturer price for the kits are less than I paid on eBay. It might pay to order direct, but shipping is expensive. It always will be on small, low-volume items like this. Osmods offer international shipping, but I can't imagine this being very economical. But it is available. Anyway, that's my quick look at Osmods 144th scale weapons. I'm off to order some FAB 500 bombs. Thanks for watching. See you next time.